and we just collected different. Christine and Tom Dubix have adorned their home to remember their son, Joey. And the two hearts are me and Joey. Joey was my sweet feet. He was my miracle baby. I wasn't supposed to have him. I had him and he was my world. <laughs> and I always told him every day, you're the best thing I ever did. I mean, I, you know, made a point. You're the best thing in my life I ever did. Well, this is from a card. That's he signed the card and butterfly one is French. You're missing from me. Joey is missing from her because on July 9th, 2018, he drowned. Joey was gone. Uh, his girlfriend couldn't find him. He went down, they were paddle boarding and he went into the water for some reason and she turned around to come back to him and he came back up and went back down and that's the last she saw of him. Christine and Tom endured a five-day search for Joey, led by Dave Boyer and his dog, Boog. One of her last hits, it took me and one of our other uh, water techs on the boat to actually uh, hold her in the boat. Who used her nose to get the answer Tom already had. I know where my son is. I just need you to bring him out of the water and I can take it from there. We are a faithful family. This is Jesus Christ pulling my son out of the water and he was found peaceful. God gave me that in his last words. And he said how beautiful it is here. And that's the last words I know that he said. In Christine's loss of Joey, Dave's 40 years of emergency services, and in what Water Waste Conservation Officer Tyler Crooks has seen in his work, they share a common walk to educate people so they will choose to wear their life jackets. You know, you can die in that water even if you're an excellent swimmer, which Joey was. Never underestimate water. It doesn't matter if it's open still water like this or it's fast moving water. A lot of people think, why should I need to wear a life jacket when I can swim perfectly fine? Um, what they don't realize is that the water temperatures in some of these river streams, lakes and whatnot, they can get cold enough that whenever you initially fall out of the boat, you'll be hit with what's called cold water shock. It'll cause you to hyperventilate, pull in a big lung full of air, which sometimes will be water because you are falling into the lake and it can cascade into a series of events that can get you in trouble really quick. One thing that happens with shock then is panic. And, and then panic no matter what, um, you know, uh, you, you don't think normal. After Joey's death, people who knew him came forward with story after story of Joey's quiet gestures of giving. We didn't know this till after he passed, but he always gave all his birthday money to this fund. But he would wait till everybody cleared the room and then he'd hand it to the teacher and tell her, shh. While there is no happy ending to Joey's story, perhaps his memory carries the same giving spirit. That his story can be a quiet but life-saving lesson to others. He had the vest with him, but he was a swimmer, so I, you know, he didn't wear the vest.